The metabolic syndrome is really a new disease or a new collection of abnormalities that are together form a syndrome, and they're all related to weight gain. Um, the medical establishment defines the metabolic syndrome based on five different abnormalities or five different individual diseases, um, and those include elevated blood pressure or hypertension. Uh, so if a person has elevated blood pressure, then they have one of these uh, five abnormalities. Um, there also uh, includes the elevated triglycerides, which are a form of circulating fats in the bloodstream, the elevated blood sugar, which of course leads to diabetes, and then an abnormally low level of the good cholesterol, or what's called the HDL, or high density lipoprotein. Those are the first four, and the last one is simply an enlarged waistline, abnormal measurement of the waistline. So that's clearly related to weight gain. So if a person has three of the five of those abnormalities, then they qualify for and, and are given the diagnosis of the metabolic syndrome. In the past, we treated the metabolic syndrome just based on each individual abnormality. For example, we'd give blood pressure medicine to lower the blood pressure, or we might give uh, blood sugar lowering medicines to lower the blood sugar. But now I think a more sort of modern approach uh, is to recognize that since these all stem from weight gain and obesity, that the real approach is to start by focusing on weight loss. And while it's hard to do and it's challenging, if a person focuses on weight loss with a medically supervised approach, then they have the best chance of seeing one, two, or three, or all five of those conditions resolve.